Welcome to Spotlight Chat, a conversation with leaders. Our special guest today on Spotlight Chat is Matt Avsar. He's the Chief Executive Officer of Accord Education. Matt, thanks for joining us today. First of all, what is Accord Education? Oh, thank you very much, TJ, having me tonight today. Um, Accord Education is a nonprofit organization, California based, and uh, we help schools to excel. We've been operating the uh, last 10 years and uh, we are uh, proudly celebrating 10th anniversary next year. And uh, uh, since the opening, we are helping charter schools, public schools, and the private schools to excel academic, operation, and the facility needs. Now, you have a specialty. You're not just helping with all schools with every niche. You focus on science and technology schools. Is that correct? Accurate. Uh, We provide also some extracurricular activities regarding STEAM education. And because we believe in our future, uh, it's really rely on the STEAM education. And so for that reason... We are trying to create culture in the school by providing STEAM Expo, which allows students to demonstrate their projects, classroom-based uh, and project-based learning projects, and they show it to in the uh, exposition. Plus, we have uh, STEAM Camp. And for, and for our listeners who aren't quite as familiar, what exactly is STEAM? What does that stand for? STEAM is Science, Technology, Engineering, Math, Art-Oriented Education. So what the, our focus is, uh, STEAM means we provide um, technology-integrated education to math, science, art. It's a beautiful concept, and uh, they are um, having a lot of fun time. Uh, preparing the classroom uh, and then the, also the projects. Uh, it, it allows the students to learn the concept easily. You work with schools in what, five states now. What ties them all together? What's the consistency? Um, first of all, we really helped our um, communities to incubate their own schools. And uh, once we start uh, helping them, they are able to um, uh, do either a charter application or they can establish uh, other schools as well, a tutoring center, so that they can utilize our academic program in their school, before, after school program, and the summer camp, winter, winter camp. That is the uh, unique side of all of our clients school has the uh, same consistent service you're a part of the whole charter movement what drew you to that and what is unique about working in a charter environment as opposed to any board of education system anywhere in america honestly uh, charter school movement is very active because it is very competitive (laughs) and the the reason also there are a lot of um, criticism about the charter school so uh, that criticism uh, creates a lot of uh, high quality education operation and academic excellence because we have to be best and we have to and uh, the so far our current clients all of them it's number one steam education public school in their location in their community so that is uh, one thing. And over the years, uh, we learn uh, uh, to communicate with, uh, and we do a lot of outreach effort. We, need, we, tr- we are trying to reach out to legislative levels, try to be active in the legislative levels a- as well to uh, improve charter movement, charter school, and our community and in our society. We're speaking with Matt Absar. He's the Chief Executive Officer of Accord Education. They are based in Irvine, California, but work with schools in five states all over the country. You're not a school yourself, but you provide services to schools. What specific services do you provide? We provide um, operation, uh, the executive help, and uh, which means strategic planning, uh, master facility planning, or uh, and also 
we provide academic extra uh, curricular activities uh, and camps, events, and we also organize events like summits and conferences. Our summit and conference summit is only for our client school uh, that allows the uh, charter schools uh, come together, the school leaders come together, and then they share their best practices and try to find the innovative way uh, for teaching. And uh, we had our uh, last uh, summit in Las Vegas, and there was 200, 350 uh, registrants, and it's all about STEAM education and innovation in uh, education. So. Our goal is to, for example, I want to give an example. If we enroll a kindergarten students today, they are going to be graduating from the university 2032. It's a lot, but time passes quickly. We need to find the best way to educate our kids, to prepare for them the brighter future, because I believe the future will be very, very competitive. And uh, we are going to make sure that we are going to make sure that they are able to compete with the uh, demands and the uh, expectations. How do you foster innovation in a field like public education? The rap on public education for decades now, I mean, you think back to the Bill Bennett Secretary of Education days in, in the Reagan administration, is that education is just historically more bureaucratic, more administrators, uh, more waste and slow-moving activity than anything in the private sector and in most other spheres of the public sector. How do you create innovation in a field, an industry that's known for not being innovative? First of all, we uh, really try to hire an energetic uh, and young generation and uh, try to use their energy uh, with the experienced teachers. So that brings a lot of um, excitement about uh, teaching because I we believe that uh, it's education and teaching it's passion. So and it's not just doing the job every day between 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's not working that way. You have to dedicate. You have to really find the soul dedicated to education. So that is, I think, our unique approach. And uh, sometimes our employees, mm, they willing to do some after work, after hours work, and then they do home visits. They go to school. They meet with the parents, and they do home visit. To, uh, even they go to the houses. So that is bring the community together. Family and the school is together. Works perfectly. Now, Matt, you've worked in education for decades now. There's a lot of different schools of thought of what's really most important. Based on your experience, what is the single most important ingredient? Is it nice, safe, beautiful infrastructure, buildings? Is it class size? Is it just a teacher who has tremendous passion? What's the most important ingredient? One word, it's dedication. Honestly, it's only dedication... It brings everything with him. Excitement, passion, hard work, consistency, and everything comes afterwards. And uh, so far, I've seen a lot of teachers, administrators, and uh, family members, parents, and if they really decided to dedicate themselves to education, that brings success. And that, that brings also a brighter future. For our generation. So who is your ideal client? Is it someone who's just started a charter school? Who should be thinking about, hmm, maybe I should investigate or take a meeting with a court education, find out more about what they do? They go to website and uh, we also, um, uh, we are very active in the charter world and uh, we go to the conferences and especially we serve in five states, California, Arizona, Nevada, Utah and Colorado. We participate uh, their charter school conferences and also uh, we are very active in the social media. So once 
our program and services heard and they we contact with them and we follow up and then they, we discuss their needs and it's all about the custom made because every school has unique demography and then the unique needs not everybody that has the same there is no package for everyone definitely it's not working because of the environment because of the needs and the socio-economical uh, situations but we sit down with the school administrator and the board members try to make them uh, to create their goals for five ten next five ten years and how can we improve academically operationally uh, and facility wise the organization is accord education you can find out more information by going to their website that's accord education.org three w's dot accord education.org we've linked to that in the show notes Thanks to our special guest, Matt Avsar, for being with us today. Thank you for listening to Spotlight Chat, a conversation with leaders. 